Look, since 2K are already working on 2K20, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell y'all what the hell y'all need to do to 2K20 to make it the best 2K ever. Yes, I said the best 2K20 ever. This is only about gameplay, not about features. I will have another video on that, but we're talking strictly gameplay. Shit that we always talk about to where it's a skill gap related. Stay tuned. Good, Josh Williamson. Before we get this video started, can y'all just like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on post notifications if you haven't, and share the video. I mean, how much does it cost to show a nigga some love? Like, it don't cause nothing, it don't cause Nathan to show a nigga some love. But without further ado, we finna jump into this shit. Alright, y'all. So, as y'all can tell from the title, I said 2K20 will be the best 2K ever made if they watch this video. If someone that that has 2K connects or if a dev watches this video, you are in for a treat. I'm about to put y'all on a free game on how to get this community right. Cause man, ever since my nigga Vic died, y'all niggas been slacking. Like it's like y'all said fuck us and spit it in our goddamn face. But look, this is what we finna do. First things first, y'all gotta do something with these servers like and it's funny because y'all actually know the servers are trash because y'all joke around about it and mock her. You got Ronnie talking about some, oh, I was working on the servers. Like, bro, that shit not funny. Fix the fucking servers. The servers and the delayers, like, y'all have to ban the delayers. You have to punish the people that's delaying the game because they're, they're tampering with our experience with the game. They're tampering. They're tampering with y'all's servers. And y'all need to just buy some more servers. Like, I don't know how this shit goes. I don't know if y'all buy more servers or y'all add. I don't know. But I got to do something with these servers. And we need these parks, like, lit. Now, I, I don't know if I say we need the parks more packed. And if y'all say, well, we got to make the servers smaller. I don't know how that shit goes. But do something with these servers to where we're not lagging. Second, take cages out. All we need to have... Like, for a, a separate game mode outside of my career is Pro-Am, Walk-On Pro-Am, and Park. That's all we need. We don't need no cages. We really don't need the fucking neighborhood. We we could keep trivia and dodgeball. I get, we don't even need dodgeball. Like, fuck all It was a good thing. But if you have people playing. You, you have people not even playing the mode. Like, people's not even playing Park. Like, do something, like, do something with that shit, man. I don't want no cages. If you make the game fun for everybody, people won't mind playing Park like how they did in 2K17 and all that other shit. <clears throat> now, this Road to 99 shit, they got a skedaddle. No cap on God, on God, no cap, no cap on God. This shit gotta go. Lord forgive me for cussing in the same sentence by saying your name. But this Road to 99, John, this it's gotta go. Bro, this what we doing? Re rewarding. People that play my career against bots by giving them park rewards. Why why was it like that before? Nobody else complained about park rep and park rewards. Nobody complained about it. So what was it? What was the t why did y'all touch it? Haven't y'all heard if something ain't broke, then don't fix it? Now it's broken. People are complaining about the road to 99 shit. We've been complaining about it since 18. We didn't want that shit. We said not to bring it in 19, but y'all did it anyway. So it's like y'all are saying, fuck us. No, what not, 2K? It's fuck you. Suck my fucking dick with Big Mac sauce. I'm tired of telling y'all this shit. Take this road to 99 shit out, and I'm not asking you. I'm fucking telling you. Fuck. I'm tired of this shit. Niggas over here playing my... If, if niggas want to play my career, that's cool. That's cool. Let them let them play my career. They wasn't saying shit before. None of them my career niggas, they wasn't saying that shit when you didn't... When you couldn't get park, park rewards and shit. Nobody was tripping about it. But now y'all did it and everybody's tripping about it. Let them my career niggas play my career. The most of the niggas that play my career are old heads. They're the ones that they don't want to play online. They get off work. They just want to play. They just want to have something to play. That's cool. Let them do them. You don't have to do much to my career. Just keep my career for our badges. Simple. If them niggas that, that like playing my career, what they gonna do? They gonna bring their ass out the park like how J Fox did in 2K17 and shit. He was a my career player. But when he wanted to do something else, what he did? He brought his ass to park. If they don't want to play park, they can play pro -Am. Simple. These park affiliations. We want them back. 2K, make a game to where it's like, make a game to where we can feel 
creative and we have to make decisions. I don't want to, don't limit me to my, uh, my creativity because I'm very creative. And I like how y'all had the shirt kiosk, but I understand from legal issues why y'all had to, y'all couldn't bring it back. But like, work with us, work with us. Let us be creative with the crew thing. Let us, you know, I don't want, what about if I don't want to wear it to, what about if I want custom hoodies or fucking uh, sweatpants instead of shorts and a t-shirt? Be creative, like be flexible with us. Park affiliations, I have some park affiliations, that, concepts that I had thought of already. That'll be in another video. But if y'all even want to make no new park affiliations, that's cool. That is okay. Bring back Sunset River to Old Town. And if y'all don't, even if y'all don't want to take out the neighborhood, if y'all don't want to take that out, give us neighborhood affiliations. Because I already know y'all have it, but I don't know why you're not showing them to the public. Me and Vic already know this. Bring back the neighborhood affiliate. Bring back the fucking affiliations if you want to do the neighborhood. But honestly, nobody wants the neighborhood. I just want to look. Y'all are making us do too much to play part. All we, when we play when we play this game, I'm not here to fucking walk around the neighborhood. I just want to get my clothes from my menu, get my tattoos done, get my hair cut. But I don't want to have to go to the store. I want to get all that shit done like that. Then I want to play the game. It's like y'all making us do everything else to not play the game. Why y'all keep putting these blocks on our roadway and to play in the game? It's like y'all want us to buy the game, but y'all don't want us to play it, if you get what I'm saying. Y'all got us doing all this extra shit instead of doing just the one thing, and that's playing the game mode. Whether it's Jordan Wreck, Pro-Am, Walk-On, or Park. Get rid of the neighborhood. I, I feel like it slows down the servers. But if you want to keep the neighborhood in, do neighborhood affiliation to where you have three different neighborhoods. To where it, you have affiliation with that own type of neighborhood. Like, make it to where it's a different, like, a different scenery. Because the neighborhood is kind of boring. It's not really a good idea. You have all these empty buildings that we can't go to. Like, if y'all can at least make it to where buildings that we could go into inside of them that we can actually use. And then just add more courts. You know what I'm saying? Next is this shot contest. 2K, the shot contest is so fucked up. It was fine. The second patch, the first patch, it was it was kind of crazy. But the second patch, it was either the second patch or the third patch to where the shot contest was perfect. The only people that was complaining about it was these fucking casuals that like playing that like playing realistic. If you want to play realistic shit, take your ass to program, man. I don't want to play a game to where I'm playing good ass defense and I get rewarded by a nigga spraying in my face. I don't want to play good defense and then they keep shoot. Nobody wants to play against that to where you're playing good defense to where it's not even in your hands no more. It's just to how the game, the physics of the game. And also, let's think about the logic. How come these the non-dribbling archetypes, they can sit here and do all these moves and not get ripped? As soon as you, re as soon as you press the steal button, it's a foul. You don't get no still animations, but let but let you be a playmaker and take over. Oh, you getting a clean animation off before your takeover over. They're gonna make sure you lose that ball before before your takeover over. Now look, 2K, I'ma scratch your back, just scratch mine. My back is the community's back. Make the game fun for everyone like 2K16. 2K16 defense was good. Everybody was happy. You, in 16, you had people that wanted to, to play defense. They were they were fine. Like defense was not a problem. Everybody could play defense. Shooting was fine. You made your open shots. It was known. It wasn't really contested shots, but contested shots they go on from time to time. It's a thing now to where you 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 have a higher success rate of making a contested shot versus a wide open shot. If someone runs up to you with their hand up, you're making it. But if you're wide open at the top of the key or the wing, maybe even the corner, you're full white and then you're bricking. 2K. Stop doing that shit, man. You got these shooters out here only taking contested shots and like shooting contested bullshit because I don't know why. Like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I don't want to play a game like that to where it's out of my hands. And then the dribbling. If I'm if I'm dribbling, I shouldn't have to be in takeover to get in takeover. Yeah, I wouldn't mind takeover. It's good and bad, but I don't want to be in takeover just to be able to dribble. Because when I'm not in takeover, I can only do about three, I can only do two momentums and one behind the back, and then I'm out of energy. Like, come on, 2K, make it make it fun for everybody. Don't, I'm not saying give us unlimited stamina, but give us some stamina to where it's realistic, because I promise you, I can do the exact moves my, my player can do, and I'm not even going to be gassed. And I actually, I have asthma. Well, I did have, I don't know if I have enough, I don't know. But I did have asthma, and I, and I could do everything my player does and not even be gassed. And look, 
Like I said, make the game fun for everybody. Defensive players. Everybody can play defense. No contested shots and shit. From time to time, they go in. Not every time. I'm not saying, you know, not every time they go in. But you should be able to make a wide open shot to where people actually have to, you know, play up. They can't leave your man open, especially if you're a shooting archetype. And then, I don't know. I say make the game balanced inside and outside scoring. Simple because every build has every build has a fucking it's it's certain builds for certain game modes, like twos. You want to have like a a playmaking sharp. You can't have you can't. It's certain lineups you have to run on twos or threes. Now it's like because I don't know. Like y'all are just milking this shit. Like stop trying to just stop making it. Stop thinking about just money because y'all not doing shit with it. You're not hiring no extra workers. Like what are you doing with the money? You're not even hiring extra people. So like. Come on now, 2K. Like, do something with these archetypes. I'm not saying I don't like it, but some have disadvantages. For example, a pure shot creator, they can dunk on people. They can speed boost. They can shoot threes consistently, and they shoot off the dribble. That's four tendencies. That's four fucking archetypes in one build. That is a demigod build. And they can play like, all right defense. Pure shot creator is the only build that I know that's a 16 type build that can do everything to where you make it how you want. I want to make it play how I want. I don't want y'all to tell me what to do. And even if I do, I don't want y'all to tell me what caps I can do when I upgrade my cap. And then these microtransactions. Man, look, I'm not even going to trip about the microtransactions. But it used to be $20 to match your player out. That was damn near $60. You already got to pay $60 for the game. Then you got to pay $60 to upgrade your player. That's $120 right there. And the God forbid you bought the $100 version because they don't even give you enough VC to fully upgrade your player. So now you got to spend another, what, $50 or maybe if you're feeling cheap, a little another $20. So now you're spending 100 You're still spending $120 at the end of the day to fully upgrade your player and you're buying the game. See, that's what y'all scamming at. The gold edition isn't really shit. you just getting the game early and they're giving you VC. Just give me the game early. I don't even want VC. I'll buy my own VC, but y'all giving me this little bit of VC so I can't even fully upgrade my player. Like, 2K, this shit got to stop. Y'all have to stop finessing. You have niggas that are smart, and you're really pushing the community away. Why do you think a free game is taking over right now? Because not, not even because it's a free game. Maybe that that's what got people attracted, but it was a free game. But they listen to the community. If the if the if you have the top content creators saying something about the game, and a lot of people agree, they're gonna get it fixed. We tell y'all shit, and y'all just say fuck y'all. We know what the fuck we doing. It shouldn't be like that. Y'all should listen to the community because we don't want playing the game. We make your job easy if you make ours easy. Simple, man. Just think about what I was saying, man. It's, if you disagree, suck my dick. If you agree, hey, I fuck with you. But look, if y'all can, just like the video, subscribe, and share it. Turn on notifications. Y'all have a great day, gang. Enjoy.